In today's video, we're searching for Yu-Gi-Oh's favorite rarity, Ghost Rare. What's up guys, we're back with another epic Ghost Rare search and we have the new Legendary Duelist Soul Burning Volcano, but not only this box, we also have Legendary Duelist Duels from the Deep. Not an insane set, but does contain Ghost Rares potentially, or a Ghost Rare. And we have some of the Legendary Ghosts from the past too and goes from the past one rookable dark magician dark magician girl blue eyes white dragon we're going to be opening a lot of packs today that could potentially have a ghost rare we could even pull multiple ghost rares it would be pretty amazing if it happens but before that we have a giveaway i'll be giving away these three cards first ed a mirror wall from pharaoh servant we have a black rose dragon from dusa and a black luster soldier from the starter deck just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below which ghost rare you want to see the most and let's hop into it all right we're not only searching for ghosts today we're going to do a little battle so the older legendary duelist from last year plus we're going to give them ghosts from the past one because it's the older set versus the newer legendary duelist soul burning volcano which has all the new pre prices and everything like that and then ghosts from the past two will be combining forces to face each other we'll have scores on the screen let me know in the comments what you think will win all right let's go ahead and start i haven't opened legendary duelist duels from the deep since it came out i don't think it's been a very very long time legendary duelist sets you know we've talked about them a little bit they don't age specifically well in terms of the singles but they do age pretty well in terms of the, the sealed boxes. I don't think that uh, Duels from the Deep is a good example of that because Duels from the Deep was one of the worst Legendary Duelist sets, but it does have a Ghost Rare. It is not one of the best Ghost Rares ever. Look at that damage on the corner. Wow. It's actually one of the least interesting Ghost Rares. I like it. It's a Silent Honor arc, but like there's just cooler, more like collectible ones you could have picked or whatever. Um, but... It is still a, uh, it's a ghost rare nonetheless, and I collect all of them. And uh, that's pretty much the only rarity I do that for. I do not collect every card in Yu-Gi-Oh! ever made, uh, which apparently some people think you need to do. I saw <laughs> you have to collect every card to be a collector. I thought that was an interesting comment uh, under one of our videos, and I didn't really understand it because I, one of the, uh, the reason I wanted to bring that up is because one of the best realizations I ever had was you don't have to collect everything. I used to collect sets of like LOB and I was like, I'm going to try and collect a lot of sets. And I was like, man, this is just a, it's a lot of stress to do that. It's like there's just so many cards and you can't ever sell anything because you have to collect everything. And then you're basically like just sinking a ton of money into it. And it's just like, oh, man, I want to get these cards, but I don't even really like this card. But I'm spending money on it because it's part of the set. It's like it's like I'm not even interested in this common card from LOB, you know, or a common card from whatever set you're opening Legendary Duelist. But you have to buy it because it's part of the collection, you know. Once I realized, okay, how about I just collect the cards that I actually like? And then it was like a, a weight was was lifted. I was like, wow, I feel so much better now. I can just collect the cards I actually am interested in, which I think is important to realize. I guess some people still think you need to collect every card and like, that's okay. If you want to collect every card, that's cool. But uh, I don't like uh, necessarily saying if you don't do that, you're like a scalper or something, which is what the, the comment implied. I was just like, oh, okay, that's kind of kind of aggressive i don't i don't necessarily agree with that at all i think that uh it's just, just just collect what you like i mean that's just like the wholesome fun no stress way to do it like you don't need to have all this pressure when you're opening cards and or uh, collecting cards because it's supposed to be about fun it's not supposed to be about whatever else you know being a pure collector or whatever i don't even know it's just crazy okay we this is our first ghost in the past two pack let's see it'll be the next one okay mass change nothing too crazy oh no wait that was Ghost from the Past 1. Never mind. Ghost from the Past 2. I was like, wait a second. Wait, did I get these mixed up? All right. Let's get to Ghost from the Past 2. I got a little confused there. I had to fix my ratios of what we had going on. Let's see if we can get a Ghost Rare out of these. Come on. to be so sick. Be insane. I'd take any of them. I don't care if it's the, the EX Gamer I have to my ice. I'd be happy. We have the Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon. Okay, cool. Nothing there. Hopefully, we can get one out of Soul Burning Volcano because I do not own that one yet. So that is one that I, I need to collect because I am collecting all the ghost rares. And when it comes to uh, to ghosts, I am collecting every single one, which I don't have. I would like to get them all in near mint. So that's kind of a slow process and doing my best, especially with, you know, them printing ghost rares and them coming out in not great condition. For the newer ones, I don't care as much because it's like, I don't know, it's like the old ones you want near mint. The newer ones, it's kind of like if they have a little scuffing out of the pack, it's no big deal. I'm not like super worried about it because they're going to be in the collection anyway they're not going to be for like sale so that doesn't really change anything i almost just threw those cards we have a full armored black ray lancer all right a lot of those cards remind me of dual links man a lot of good times in dual links with those cards we have volcanic inferno i will say legendary duel is probably not my favorite sets ever i mean not the recent ones the last three have been a little iffy 
they haven't been that exciting. I mean, they're new sets, so they're fun. You know, every time a new set comes out, it's fun to see them. I will say the artworks on the packs and the box are some of the best that Yu-Gi-Oh has. They, it really is almost unmatched. It's some really good stuff, especially this one. I love the Soul Burning Volcano. I think it looks incredible. I just wish it was a little bit more exciting inside the packs. I know uh, Volcanic people are super happy about it, so I'm, I'm glad there's at least uh, some people super pumped about it. But I, it's not like my most exciting. I'm not going to say it's like Ugh, gross, disgusting. I'm not like that. I'm not like at that level. Level. I'm just kind of like indifferent towards this set for the most part besides the ghost obviously but I mean even though the ghost is kind of is it a good one not really it's, it's not that interesting it's a uh, sunlight wolf so it's more of like an archetype specific one so you have to be playing salamangrate I don't even know if they play sunlight wolf anymore I'm assuming they do because that would be really weird if they didn't play it anymore and they made that the ghost rare and it's yeah I don't know I don't, I don't know how I feel about that one let me know in the comments how you feel about the ghost which one do you like better uh, do you like Duels from the Deep Ghost Rare, the uh, Silent Honor arc, or do you like the Sunlight Wolf better? And you can even go back to Legendary Duelist 8 uh, with Synchro Storm. I guess that was... So it looks like Legendary Duelist has had four Ghost Rares, because seven was Winged Dragon of Raw. That was the first Ghost Rare that they brought back here. So they're kind of like... They're like one for three on... Or one for four on Ghost Rares in terms of like good, awesome ones. Like, obviously, Winged Dragon of Raw went crazy. People were obsessed with that one. But since then, Seventh Ascension, that's an ultra. There hasn't really been a huge like banger of one. You know what I mean? It's been kind of just been a little iffy on it. They're kind of like, yeah, it's kind of a weird choice, but it's not man great of fire. Cool. All right, let's do another uh, Ghost from the Past one. Dark Magician is still crazy expensive in here, so I would be very happy to pull it. Let's see. We have a <sighs> Starry Night Ceremony. Okay, Starry Night Ceremony. Let's go to a Ghost from the Past too. Same thing with these. These aren't as expensive, probably because they printed a ton of this set, like a ton of this set. But still, they're, they're still like 150 bucks, which is not bad. Until the ants spawn, we have Great Mammoth. And they also had like tons of them in some cases. Or zero for, I know everybody watching who got zero was like, I got zero, what are you talking about? I'm sorry guys, that's very unfortunate. I That would suck. What if we pulled the Silent Honor arc out of uh, Duels from the Deep? I, I still have two, I had like two cases of Duels from the Deep. I, I bought like way too much of that set. Now I just have it and it's, you know, I think the box is like 30 bucks. I haven't actually looked, but they're probably like 30 bucks because uh, they're not the craziest ever or whatever. But it'd be pretty crazy. I did open a case just to get this box, so it'd be pretty funny if we pulled the Ghost Rare in the first box. Uh, then the rest will just sit here forever, completely worthless, uh, which it basically is anyway. <laughs> not like the Ghost is really bringing that much value. I think the Ghost is really cheap. Super rare. We can pop up the, the price of the Silent Honor arc right now. I think it's probably a $25 Ghost, something like that. Which, I mean, $25 is not nothing for a card, but when it's the main chase, that's not very good. Uh, Battle and Boxer. Still some packs left. We're making some progress. Been a fun video at least. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. I know this is, I know a lot of you guys aren't that excited about these sets, so I wanted to at least switch it up and have like maybe some other ghost chase in here. That's why we didn't do a purely soul burning volcano video today, which we might, we probably are going to do tomorrow. I think tomorrow we're just going to open until we get the ghost rare. Uh, Sunlight Wolf. I don't think we're going to do a live. I was considering if we do a live, but like Based on the comments, people aren't that excited about this set. And it's it's a short live. It would only be like an hour, maybe, maybe even less, because like the ghost rare is pretty easy to pull. So it's like it probably wouldn't be that good of a live. So I'll probably since we've done a ton of lives recently, maybe I'll just wait for the next new set or an Xbox break or something like that. Battle and Boxer King Dempsey. That's what I'm thinking right now, because we, we usually do every set uh, with a live, but like this is like kind of like a half set because it's there's not like a huge chase that's like really hard to pull and it's a legendary duel set there's not like any secrets or anything so yeah i don't know it just doesn't work as well for our live stream format so i'll probably just yeah i probably just won't do one okay let's keep it going let's see what we can get and we'll just continue with our other content after this well you know three videos on this set i think is pretty good right that's that's a lot we've basically covered everything in the set uh, I, I checked some of the prices because I, yesterday I didn't even check the prices because I was like, they're probably not going to be too crazy. I think the highest card was like 12 bucks besides the ghost. The ghost didn't have a price on TCG yet. So I was like, yeah, the, once the t once everything comes out, it's probably going to be fairly cheap in terms of the values. So no, re no reason to really go through those. We probably should open some more ghosts from the past. Now that's where we could get crazy. Um, ghosts from the past one. Let's try this. Dark Magician, please. I actually still need one of these ghosts, I feel like, for my, my binder. Somehow I like sold up one by accident. We have Metaphors. Put Old Shape Pudding's S. We have the Time Thief and 
All right, shooting star dragon. I feel like it might be the synchro, whatever the crystal clear wing. I think I don't think I have that one yet. Oh, it might, could it be the firewall though. Maybe it is the firewall. Oh, Ghost in the Past 2 is what we need to do here. Let's see if we can get a dark magician girl. We have vampire sucker. We have Tinny spirit, dramaturge, Salman great blaze dragon and the Sky Cavalry. All right, so uh, no ghosts at all today so far, which is a little unfortunate. We need some ghost rares. I don't know if I've gone in the right order. I think I might have more tools from the D packs. Might need to open a couple of those in a row. Let's see, come on, Maritza's Blue Tang. We are not getting so lucky here right now, guys. Not getting so lucky. Let's see, forbidden. Oh, I forgot this was in here. Oh, Duels from the Deep. Duels from the Deep might be a better set just because it has this inside. Okay, Droplet. Getting some value today. Oh, Duels from the Deep might even take the lead now because I forgot. Yeah, they have pre-release prices, so that's going to really benefit them. It's going to be a lot higher on values on the uh, on the hollows, but that's going to be more expensive than any card you can pull even with pre-release prices. So it should be a close battle. I totally forgot about Droplet. That is exciting. Let's go. Let's go, Droplet. Bringing us back, baby. Old school. Definitely have more duels from the deep now that I'm looking at this. I've definitely opened more of the uh, soul burning volcano. Let's go, whale. We got to get the whale. Send it a whale! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at that! We called for the whale and we got it! Oh my gosh, that is insane, dude. That is insane. What a call. Nash Knight, okay. Oh man, what a sick call. I don't know if it really, uh... I don't know if it really matters. He's not a very expensive card. Well, oh, okay. We got Mirasalio and the Tiger. Okay. Let's do a little, uh, no, let's open a couple. We're definitely ahead on these still. Let's do a little Barian's Chaos draw. One more, and I think we'll be pretty even. Then we'll go back to Ghost from the Past, which we have not opened many of so far in this video. Abyss Shark, another Ultra. Ghost from the Past 1. Come on, if anybody's going to give us a ghost, we want it to be Ghost from the Past 1, if it's the Dark Magician, of course. We have the Salaman Great. Look at that, fitting the theme, beautiful. Metaphors, Dragon Eye Draco Equist, Time Thief Perpetua, and the shit all genius. That is not the card we're looking for, but don't worry. I think genius used to be like nine bucks, but why it really came out, but I think it's more like a dollar now. Dollar hand, we got Vampire, Sucker, Fossil Machine, the Agent of Force, and Oh, Rise of the Mega Monarch. I still have good memories of finding a uh, Duelist Alliance secret rare, and it was worth, used to be worth 50 cents, and it was like $75, so I sold it. It was great. There's nothing like finding a card that's like insanely expensive that you didn't know. It like used to be cheap, and then it randomly went way up, and then being able to sell it for like, what was that, 150%? No, wait, 150x, not percent. Yeah, it was crazy. 150 times the previous value. It was pretty insane because I was like, I, this card's a cheap card and I don't remember why I looked it up. Maybe I knew I had one and then went back. And I was like, oh my gosh. It's just a good, good time when that happens. Duels from the Deep, I think might be winning, but it could be close because I, I don't know if Duels from the Deep has value besides Forbidden Drop, but like at all, they might all be under a dollar. Who knows? Some of them might be a few bucks. It's going to be an interesting score of this battle to see how this goes. Let's go back to Ghost from the Past because we do have three of each left. Whew, come on, Danger Thunderbird. Metaphors, come on, come on, can't pull the card. Synchro Fusion, Chateau, maybe means there's a Dark Magician. No, it's a Starry Night Balefire. Okay, okay, Ghost from the Past 2, let's go. Ghost Rare, we search for Ghost Rare. We've had like 90 packs today, we have not pulled anything. Plunder Patrol Ship, Shell Knight. That's the last card. I thought there was one more. <laughs> okay, I messed that up. Come on, duels from the deep, baby. If you guys are enjoying the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. We have Legendary Fisherman 3. Hopefully, it'll be more epic where we're actually pulling crazy cards. Okay, I'm still ahead somehow. In duels from That'll, this will even us up. This will even us up to 3-3. Three and three. We have the Fear... Whoa. That's an interesting misprint. There's a big line through it. Okay, I'll put that over there. And Electric Jellyfish. The jelly. Okay, we're down to five packs total on each side. Let's do one more Duels from the Deep and then we can swap back over there. We want to finish with Soul Burning Volcano, I think. Crystal Shark, Soul Burning Volcano. One of the coolest pack artworks. Will you give us a great card? Not this time. Let's do Ghost from the Past One again. I still have high hopes for this. Dark Magician, I want it. I want it. Fairy Tale, Starry Night. It's been a long time since we pulled that Dark Magician. Time Thief Redoer and Starry Night Arrival. Okay. okay, okay. All right, Ghost from the Past 2. Let's match it. And by match it, I mean do better because matching it would just be like a regular <laughs> a regular Ultra. Nothing crazy. Didi Lamia. We have Crimson Knight. Agent. Mastery. Majesty. Mastery. Majesty. I can't speak. Iberion. Duels from the Deep, baby. Let's go. Ghost Rare. Let's go. 
Mega Fortress Whale. There we go. The whale has appeared. Very nice. We'll take that. We called for that earlier and it happened. I mean, a different whale, but it's still cool. Soul Burning Volcano. Last few packs. Here we go. Getting out to the end. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. We have more content coming out tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day because we post every single day at 12 p.m. Central. So make sure you guys are here for that. It's epic. All right, let's do the last ghost pass. Uh, ghost pass, okay. <laughs> and then we'll go back to our legendary duelist and attempt to pull those ghost rares. Here we go, Dark Magician. Let's go, last pack magic for ghosts from the past one time. The flyback, come on, we have Volcanic. Volcano, actually. Oh, Dragonity Glow. No ghost there, no ghost. But this is not the end. Ghost from the past two. You can do this. Yang Zang, Ghost Rick, Samsara, DD Swirl Slime and Dark Magician Girl. No, it's a DDD. Destiny King Zero. Last two packs. Here's the scores on the screen for each side. You'll swim the deep. You're going first. I feel like you might be ahead because of the droplet, but maybe not because of the pre release prices. I don't know. Marincess, Seahorse, Levia, Marincess, and a Citadel Whale. Okay. It all comes down to this. If they are down, this could be the comeback pack in the final pack. A lot of, I said pack a lot of times right there. This could have the Ghost Rare. Salaman, Great Sun, Sunlight, Sunlight Wolf. We have Foxy. I'm really struggling to speak today. Switch hitter. We have Volcanic Rocket. Come on. Ah, nothing in the last pack, guys. All right. We're going to have to continue our search for the Ghost Rare tomorrow. So if you want to see us pull that Salaman, Great Sunlight Wolf, or maybe some other Ghost Rares, I might throw in some more packs like Ghost in the Past again. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Leo Gwine 62, Another Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barney, Mimic Gecko, and Robert F. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.